Just take a look at a clip of their show. You're disappointing our family. I am? Yes. You Same should stick on you. with your sister. I'm not sticking with scum like you. Joe, that wasn't right. I don't care. She is scum. And I'm going to call you scum. You know I'm what? I'm not here. That's right. Leave. Well, they left and they made their way to court. This morning, here they are. They are charged in a 39 count indictment, including false statements they allege to have made on loan applications and then bankruptcy fraud. Jeff Gold is a New Jersey criminal defense attorney where all this is taking place, and John Bix, a bankruptcy attorney. Gentlemen, thanks for joining us. Good morning. Jeff, let me start with you. A 39 count federal indictment. What are they charged with? Well, I mean, if you want to break it down simply, there's really two elements here. The first part about it is that they created false documents, uh, lied about things on applications to get loans. That's one thing. And some of that's very serious because they created, according to the indictment, false tax returns to show that they made money that they didn't so they could get these loans. And then also that they were very loose and, in fact, uh, under the allegations, defrauded uh, uh, the bankruptcy court by lying and uh, getting other monies and hiding that while they were in the process of bankruptcy. So that's the simple end of it, that they were fast and loose with the, the truth. In terms of stuff that was put in writing and probably signed to, John, then your expertise is bankruptcy. After pumping up their income to get loans, they also are facing bankruptcy fraud. How serious is that, and what are they looking at? Bankruptcy fraud is a very big deal. For the last at least five years, ten years, the Department of Justice has made bankruptcy fraud a real priority. All you have to do is look back at some of the, and this doesn't just happen to celebrities. I mean, Lenny Dykstra, they just got out of jail not long ago. Bankruptcy fraud is a big deal. When you file for bankruptcy and you list all your assets and you sign the schedules under penalties of perjury, there's a reason that they have to be right. If you lie, if you hide assets, if you're transferring assets sort of on the sly to family members or other folks, you're not only defrauding your creditors, you're defrauding the whole system. So the system requires sort of built on the presumption that people will act honestly. And where they don't, people do get sent to jail. Uh, and this is not something that just happens to celebrities. Um, in the last case that I was involved in where there were serious allegations of fraud, uh, the CEO of a company who lied about expenses that he was paying to escorts and called them in the bankruptcy pleadings uh, expenses for maintaining the corporate aircraft, he's still doing the back end of five years. Wow. And Jeff, uh, basically the 39 charges, is that how many times the counts in the indictment, they actually filed false paperwork. What's the most serious charge they're facing, and what's the potential sentence? Do they face that equally, or is one uh, looking at more time than the other? Well, uh, first of all, I'm not so sure that the fact that they're celebrities doesn't have something to do with this, as John thinks. I, I think it may. But there are very serious charges, and the feds don't kid around, generally speaking, on these types of charges, uh, which really involve millions, like millions of dollars of loans that they're saying was defrauded. And then, of course, uh, you have the bankruptcy allegations. It's not like they're victimless people here. This is not uh, uh, kidding around. So I think that uh, they are uh, facing uh, prison, not the 30 or so years that you might do by adding it up. But there are guidelines that would uh, uh, make uh, uh, very serious allegations like this into a number of years, though, possibly. I think at the end of it, cases like this are often resolved with the husband taking most of the heat. I don't know if that'll happen here, but I suspect Juicy Joe is going to jail. Yeah, we know there's, there may be some sort of spousal immunity about testifying and everything, but they both said they're going to protect the other. And let me tell you, folks, this just mm -hmm. happening in court in Newark. Uh, they, they are both going to hand over $500,000 bonds. They did not enter a plea today, but they are under travel restrictions to only New York and New Jersey. Uh, John, does that say to you that this judge setting the bail at this amount, and this is new video into Fox, that they may be a flight risk, they may be concerned about them actually showing up for a trial? Uh, absolutely, or with them simply absconding. I agree with Jeff. I think this is a kind of case where, and again, being a priority of the Justice Department, I, I would expect that there's going to be a jail, uh, a jail sentence at the far end of this case for both of them. Jeff, is, what's the message to folks out there who don't file tax returns, which they're said to have not done, at least he is, for five years, who puff up their income on applications for loans? What is the message from you today? 
Well, look, the federal government is very serious about that. We have a reality TV show where um, the individuals involved are paying contractors on TV, on camera, with boatloads of cash. Bad idea. All right, Jeff, John. Great insight today and the very latest from the court again, no plea uh, offered bond and they have to stick to New York and New Jersey. Not sure of the future of their television career at this point. Thank they you. They may be filming it somewhere else. Yeah, they may be filming it right now. Except right. for that morals clause <laughs> that they more, probably have in their contract. Episodes out of this morning already. Uh, Jenna Lee, Sandy.